I was just getting ready to graduate from law school and I was very interested in going into the JAG program in the military and they have certain fitness standards that you had to meet and I wasn't anywhere near that yet. Family history of um, you know heart disease and diabetes and I don't want to go there. I actually um, wasn't shopping for a gym as much as I was shopping for a trainer, although I did get lots of good recommendations from my friends that were already members, so that was a bonus as well. Total life change has happened in a year. I have lost about 40 pounds. Um, I am stronger, faster, I feel better about myself. I am eating better. I have gotten really good feedback from my recruiters already who have sort of watched me go from unhealthy and unwilling to healthy and stable and strong and capable. As it just doesn't show that you take care of yourself, but it shows that you can be committed to things. I've made major changes and I'm committed to those changes and I'm not going back. What works for me is um, I spend a lot of time on the cardio deck. I actually have started to enjoy running, which I never in a million years thought I would enjoy running. I enjoy the elliptical on days when I'm feeling a little sore, but I also take advantage of some of the classes that are offered. I really like group kick. That has been a good breakup from the usual kind of monotony that can come with the treadmill. Um, and then I weight lift with Beth. I see Beth for an hour, two times a week, and she has taught me the importance of not only cardio in your workout, which I think a lot of women forget about, is that you really need to incorporate weight training too. I like group kick because it's, it's really active and the music is good and there are generally really positive people in there and the instructors are always happy to see you and they, like an hour goes by really quickly. You know, your arms, your legs, your abs, and you're doing push-ups and sit-ups and kicking and punching and it's just a really good variety. I've done a total body workout. My eating and my nutrition has been overhauled. I was a child of the Eatos food group, Doritos, Fritos, Cheetos, Crunchy was my thing. Um, that has been replaced with an understanding about the way that carbohydrates work with your body, what kind you need, what kind you don't need, when you should be eating, what you should be eating, and more probably than anything else, how much you should be eating. You can still have you know, a piece of cake or a cookie, but you don't need a quarter of the cake and six cookies. You have to understand portion control, and even just grasping that concept can whittle pounds off you before you even realize it. I would say that more than anything, it's not necessarily going to be easy, but it's always going to be worth it. It may take a couple of weeks for the soreness to get out of your muscles, and it may take a couple of weeks for you to just be like, ugh, go to the gym, I don't wanna to go to the gym. But once you get into that rhythm and you notice little things in your everyday life, be willing to put the work in, and I mean, a, what is most important about fitness is that you may really have to work for a couple of months, but as long as you, you know, stay with it to some extent, you don't have to be at the gym every day, those benefits are gonna last your entire life. You have to remember that you're not doing a temporary fix. This is a life change and it will be worth it. I'm not, I'm not done yet. I actually still would like to lose about, I don't know, maybe another 20 pounds. So I'm well on my way and there's actually a light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, it's things like you wanna get up and move around. Um, you want to come to the gym after a day of sitting behind a desk because you feel like you need to move. This is too much fun.